Welcome to Rio Grande do Sul in the south of Brazil, on the border of Argentina and Uruguay, the place colonised by the German, Italian and Portuguese. We will visit Porto Alegre, the capital with 1.5 million people, Gramado, the most European city, and the canyons on the border of Santa Catarina State. This is the central market in Porto Alegre, right in the heart of the city, where you can find typical and fresh produce. This is the Porto Alegre Council where all the important decisions are made. Also, the fountain, the Terra Vera, was donated by the Portuguese. This building used to be a hotel where a great Brazilian poet, Mario Quintana, used to live. Now it's been turned into one of the many hundreds of cultural centres here in Porto Alegre. And there is the Rio Grande do Sul Museum of Art, founded in 1954 in Alfandega Square. The Santander Cultural Centre, previously the Santander Bank, built in 1931. Iberi Camargo Museum opened in 2008. And this is the Gaza Metra Cultural Centre in Port Alegre, one of the 300 in Port Alegre and definitely the most famous. This is Matrice Square, surrounded by the Government House, the State Parliament, the Court Palace, the Cathedral constructed in 1921 inspired by Roman architecture and the St Pedro Theatre 182 years old. With four months to go before the Olympics the Brazilians are not concerned about their games they are very worried about the possible impeachment of their president. This is the main political square of Porto Alegre where protests and rallies occur. This camp is against the impeachment of their president. This is one of the 40 bike hire stations in Port Alegre. All you've got to do is open up the app, put in the station number, the bike number, and voila, we have a bicycle. This is the hop on hop off site seeing tour bus of Port Alegre. It goes for one and three quarter hours. It goes all around Port Alegre to the south north zone as well as the city centre. You can see quite a lot here. I hope you enjoy the sightseeing. We are coming up to Internationale, the soccer stadium where Australia played in the World Cup of 2014. Port Alegre has 600 parks and we're enjoying them as we go along, as well as the Goiba River. Before I arrived in Port Alegre, I was always told that crime and poverty were very bad in Brazil. Well, they're not. They're not that bad. The city is very green, the people are very friendly, overall pretty damn good. This is Manly Matt reporting from Port Alegre.